Namaskar, Sasyakal, Salaam Alaikum. I'm Rohit Roy, your quiz master. And I'm going to take all of you on a fascinating journey over the next 13 weeks. 27 schools, 54 very bright young lads and girls. And at the end of the rainbow, the pot of gold, the Emacs Star Quiz Challenge Rolling Trophy. So, let me introduce you to these young gladiators. Come on, give yourselves a round of applause. Welcome to the show. Very, very warm welcome. Team A is Wellington International School, Dubai. Team B is our own Indian school, Dubai. And Team C is the Al Diafa High School, Dubai. Introduce yourselves. I'm McLean and I'm from Wellington International School. Great. And you? I'm Andres. I'm from Wellington International School. Hi, I'm Sudarshan Surya. Hi, I'm Manas. My name's Anubhav Chaudhary and... My name is Sehan. Congratulations for reaching here and all the very best. Our first round is the Icebreaker, brought to you by UAE Exchange. This is a simple straight Q&A round. Each team gets asked one question, 20 points for the correct answer. If you do not know the answer to that question, you can exchange it for another question which I will give you, but you will get only 10 points on the exchange question. Clear? A time of 30 seconds. Starting with Team A, Wellington International School, Dubai. Ready? Your question is, which spacecraft first discovered water on the moon in September 2009? Your time starts now. Exchange. I'm sorry? Exchange? Okay, fine. Your next question is, who is Tenzing Gyatso? Who is Tenzing Gyatso? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, time up. Tenzing Gyatso is the Dalai Lama. And the question that you did not get right was the Chandrayaan. Moving on, our own Indian school Dubai ready? Here's your question. Which military aircraft a fifth generation jet fighter performed its first flight on January 29th, 2010. Your time starts now. Exchange. Exchange, okay. Your next question is, who was the last man on the moon? Buzz Aldrin. Oh, that's the incorrect answer, I'm sorry. The correct answer would be Gene Carnan. Never mind. Coming to all the Alpha High School Dubai, you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Fine. Your question is, which country had a police force called the Taunton Makutes? Your time starts now. Exchange. Exchange, right. Your exchange question is, which US author who died in Jan 2010 wrote the famous book, The Catcher in the Rye? Catcher in the Rye. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, boom. Time up. It was J.D. Salinger. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now you get it. Okay. Before we move on to the next round, I must give you the scores which unfortunately read Wellington International School, Dubai, 0. Our own Indian school, Dubai, has an open, and Al Diafa High School, Dubai, zero. The next round is extremely exciting. It is called the Serendipity Round. This again is a Q&A round, but listen carefully. Each question, this time, will have four optional answers. No negative marking, 20 points on the direct answer. The time will be shorter, just 20 seconds. Starting again with you, Wellington International School. Your question is, which TV series features the coffee shop Central Perk? A. Dexter, B. Big Bang Theory, C. Friends, or D. Third Rock from the Sun? Your time starts now. Friends. Friends is the correct answer. Well done. Well done, Wellington International School. You're on the scoreboard. Moving on. The question to you is, who directed Pearl Harbor? Your options are A. Oliver Stone B. Michael Bay 
C. Steven Spielberg or D. Quentin Tarantino. Your time starts now. Michael Bay. Michael Bay. Well, it is the correct answer. Well done. Well done. Well, it was a wager. It was a good guess. Al Diafa. Your question is: Name the two players who have won the FIFA World Cup, both as a player and a manager. Your options are Thierry Henry and Alessandro Nesta, Jorge Hagi and Michael Owen, Mario Zagallo and Franz Beckenbauer, or Gary Lineker and Pele. Your time starts now. Um, B. B. Hore Hagi and Michael Owen? It is the incorrect answer. I'm sorry. Never mind, never mind. Okay, we have two of them on the scoreboard already. I'm so happy to say Willington International School Dubai is on 20 points. Our own Indian School Dubai is also on 20 points. And Aldi Alpha High School Dubai unfortunately hasn't opened. The pattern to the dash to the finish is yet to reveal itself. Which will happen in the next segment, but after this very short break, so do not touch that remote. See you in a bit. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Rohit Roy, your quiz master, and I'm going to take all of you on a fascinating journey over the next 13 weeks. 27 schools, 54 very bright young lads and girls, and at the end of the rainbow, the pot of gold, the Emacs Star Quiz Challenge Rolling Trophy. So, let me introduce you to these young gladiators. Come on, give yourselves a round of applause. Welcome to the show. Very, very warm welcome. Team A is Wellington International School, Dubai. Team B is our own Indian school, Dubai. And Team C is the Al Diafa High School, Dubai. Introduce yourselves. I'm McLean and I'm from Wellington International School. Great. And you? I'm Andres. I'm from Wellington International School. Hi, I'm Sudarshan Surya. Hi, I'm Manas. My name's Anubhav Chaudhary and... My name is Shahan. Congratulations for reaching here and all the very best. Our first round is the Icebreaker, brought to you by UAE Exchange. This is a simple straight Q&A round. Each team gets asked one question, 20 points for the correct answer. If you do not know the answer to that question, you can exchange it for another question which I will give you, but you will get only 10 points on the exchange question. Clear? A time of 30 seconds. Starting with Team A, Wellington International School, Dubai. Ready? Your question is, which spacecraft first discovered water on the moon in September 2009? Your time starts now. Exchange. I'm sorry? Exchange? Okay, fine. Your next question is, who is Tenzing Gyatso? Who is Tenzing Gyatso? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, time up. Tenzing Gyatso is the Dalai Lama. And the question that you did not get right was the Chandrayaan. Moving on, our own Indian school Dubai ready? Here's your question. Which military aircraft a fifth generation jet fighter performed its first flight on January 29th, 2010. Your time starts now. Exchange. Exchange, okay. Your next question is, who was the last man on the moon? Buzz Aldrin. Oh, that's the incorrect answer, I'm sorry. The correct answer would be Gene Carnan. Never mind. Coming to all the Alpha High School Dubai, you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Fine. Your question is, which country had a police force 
called the Taunton Makutes. Your time starts now. Exchange. Exchange, right. Your exchange question is, which U.S. author who died in Jan 2010 wrote the famous book, The Catcher in the Rye? Catcher in the Rye. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Boom. Time up. It was J.D. Salinger. Yeah, now you get it. Okay, before we move on to the next round, I must give you the scores which unfortunately read Wellington International School Dubai 0. Our own Indian School Dubai hasn't opened and all the Afa High School Dubai 0. The next round is extremely exciting. It is called the Serendipity Round. This again is a Q&A round. But listen carefully. Each question this time will have four optional answers. No negative marking, 20 points on the direct answer. The time will be shorter, just 20 seconds. Starting again with you, Wellington International School. Your question is, which TV series features the coffee shop Central Perk? A. Dexter, B. Big Bang Theory, C. Friends, or D. Third Rock from the Sun? Your time starts now. Friends. Friends is the correct answer. Well done. Well done, Wellington International School. You're on the scoreboard. Moving on. The question to you is, who directed Pearl Harbor? Your options are A, Oliver Stone, B, Michael Bay, C, Steven Spielberg, or D, Quentin Tarantino. Your time starts now. Michael Bay. Michael Bay. Well, it is the correct answer. Well done. Well done. Well, it was a wager. It was a good guess. Al Diafa. Your question is, name the two players who have won the FIFA World Cup, both as a player and a manager. Your options are Thierry Henry and Alessandro Nesta, Jorge Hagi and Michael Owen, Mario Zagallo and Franz Beckenbauer, or Gary Lineker, and Pele, your time starts now. Um, B. B? Yeah. Hyore Hagi and Michael Owen? Yeah. It is the incorrect answer, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Never mind, never mind. Okay, we have two of them on the scoreboard already. I'm so happy to say, Willington International School Dubai is on 20 points. <laughs> Our own Indian School Dubai is also on 20 points. And Aldi Alpha High School, Dubai, unfortunately, hasn't opened. The pattern to the dash to the finish is yet to reveal itself, which will happen in the next segment. But after this very short break, sir, do not touch that remote. See you in a bit. Welcome back after that short break. We are watching Emax Star Quiz Challenge 2011. I am Rohit Roy. So, are you guys ready for the next round? Yes. yes. Because I am ready to raise the bar a bit. Our next round is called Categories. We will start with the team with the lowest marks, which is Aldi Alpha High School Dubai. Each team chooses one of the five categories that will be shown to you on your screen. Each category will have nine answers, out of which only five will be correct. For every right answer, you get 10 points. And if you give me all five correct answers, I'm gonna be very generous and give you 20 bonus points. But the moment you give me a wrong answer, your game is over, okay? Of course, you get to keep the points that you scored on the right answers, clear? A time of 30 seconds. All the Alpha High School, Dubai. Let's take a look at the categories. Famous Australians, Dead at 27, James Bonds, Silent Films, Countries. We'll take countries. You'll take countries? Okay. These are your options. A. Vanuatu, B. British Hidalgo, 
सी ईस्ट यमन डी अजगिस्तान ई माइक्रोनीजिया एफ गौतमाला जी किर्गिस्तान एच मोल्डोवा एंड फाइनली एस्ट्रोविया योर टाइम स्टार्ट नाउ विच ऑफ दीज फाइव आर कंट्रीज जी किर्गिस्तान किर्गिस्तान एफ गौतमाला एफ गौतमाला ई माइक्रोनीजिया ई माइक्रोनीजिया वेल डन कमान एच मोल्डोवा एच मोल्डोवा यस एंड ए वन आर टू Fantastic all correct well done well done on the upper high school dubai that means you've got all five correct and you're standing at 70 points with the 20 bonus points i think you guys should clap for them don't look so sad come on well done well done our own indian high school dubai ready pick a category from the remaining four famous australians dead at 27 james bonds and silent films Famous Sorry? Australians. Famous Australians. Okay. Here are your options. James Clavell, Sir Donald Bradman, Nicole Kidman, Ronald Emmerich, Dan Aykroyd, Kevin Costner, Hugh Jackman, Eric Bana and John Malkovich. Your time starts now. Sir Donald Bradman. Sir Donald Bradman. Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman. Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Roland Emmerich. Roland Emmerich is the incorrect answer. But never mind. That gives you 30 points. You've done applause. Well done. Our own Indian High School Dubai. Ah, moving on. Wellington International. Pick one of the remaining three categories, please. James Bond. James Bond. Your options are A. Jeremy Irons. B. Pierce Brosnan, C. Clive Owen, T. Timothy Dalton, E. David Niven, F. Daniel Craig, G. Roger Moore, H. Christopher Plummer, and I. Edward Fox. Your time starts now. Pierce Brosnan, Pierce Brosnan, Daniel Craig, Daniel Craig, Timothy Dalton, Timothy Dalton, Roger Moore, Roger Moore, Clive Owen, Clive Owen is the Incorrect answer. Ah, oh, but well done. Four correct answers. Huge round of applause for Wellington International School, Dubai. Wow! I did tell you that that's going to be a very interesting and fascinating round, and it was. Let's take a look at the scores. Wellington International School, Dubai stands at 60 points. Well done. And our own Indian School, Dubai, is at 50 points. And all the upper high school Dubai, which started with zero, is at seventy points. Okay, let's move on. Our next round is the audiovisual round, brought to you by Emax. Let me explain the rules to you. This is a buzzer round. Okay, if the team answers correctly, you will get twenty points. But if you give me a wrong answer, you will be given minus ten points. If the team is absolutely 100% sure of the answer, you can say double up the moment you press the buzzer. That way, the right answer will give you 40 points, and the wrong answer will give you minus 20 points. Clear? And I request all of you to open your laptops, please. This is your first clue. The question is, who is that man? All the Alpha High School Dubai. Double up. Silvio Berlusconi. Silvio Berlusconi. Yes, that is the right answer. Well done. Twenty points. <laughs> Moving on. All three teams ready again. This is your second clue. Just one chance. Is that too much to ask? I mean, it's not likely to kill you. Identify this character. Wellington International School Dubai. You press the buzzer. You want to double up? Okay. Mushu. Mushu, you got 40 points. Well done. It is Mushu. <laughs> okay, ready again. Hands on buzzer. This is your next clue. Listen to this voice. The masses of India, if it became necessary, would resort to violence. Whose voice was that? Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi is the correct answer. 20 points. 
I think all you guys did very well. Let's take a look where all the teams stand. Wellington International School, Dubai, you are at a hundred points. Our own Indian School, Dubai, you are at 70 points. And Aldi Alpha High School, Dubai, you are at 110 points. Wow. I'm sure this intensity is going to continue. Don't go anywhere because in the next segment, we will find our winner. See you in a bit. Welcome back after that short break. We are watching Emax Star Quiz Challenge 2011. Let me explain the next round to you. It is called Starcade. Each team will be asked one question. There will be a visual clue on your monitor. The first team will give me an answer. If it is the correct answer, you will get 20 points for it. But there is no negative marking. In case you give me an incorrect answer, the question will then pass on to the next team, so on and so forth. But for a pass question, you get only 10 points. The first team will get 30 seconds to answer the question. The second, 10 seconds. And the last team will get only 5 seconds. Wellington International School, Dubai. Are you ready? Here's your visual clue. The star cast of which intergalactic blockbuster is this? Your time starts now. Star Wars. Star Wars? It is the correct answer. Star Wars it is. Fantastic. 20 points. Okay, moving on. Our own Indian school, Dubai. Your visual clue is this. Question is, an economist and the current chairman of the United States Federal Reserve. Who is he? Your time starts now. Robert E. Zellick. Robert E. Zellick is the incorrect answer. Passing on to Aldi Afa High School, Dubai. Ten. Pass. Nine. Pass. Wellington International School, Dubai. No idea. It is Ben Bernanke. Moving on. Aldi Afa High School, Dubai. You ready? Your visual clue is this. The question is, identify this major figure of the Cuban Revolution. Che Guevara. Che Guevara, absolutely correct. Well done. Yeah. Next round is the rapid fire round brought to you by Complan. Eight questions to answer in 60 seconds. The teams can pass the question in case they do not know the correct answer. 20 points for every correct answer and minus 10 points for every wrong answer. Of course, no points for a past answer. Aldi Afa High School, Dubai. Your time starts now. Where did the 2008 Paralympics take place? China. It is Beijing. What is Donald Duck's middle name? Us. Trump, Trump, it's Trump. Sorry? Donald Trump Duck, right? Yeah. Incorrect. It's Fonteroy. Who starred in the films Some Like It Hot and The Seven Year Itch? Pass. Pass. What was the name of the Allied offensive in the 1991 Gulf War? Opera Operation Desisto. Correct. What is the capital of Armenia? Pass. What is the square root of 289? Pass. In an orchestra, which is the only stringed instrument not played with a bow? The only stringed instrument not played with a bow. It is a harp. Never mind. Moving on to our own Indian school, Dubai. Which sport does not permit the use of any type of gloves? Pass. Pass. In books by J.R.R. Tolkien, what kind of creatures are Bilbo and Frodo Baggins? Hobbits. Correct. How is the fictional Charles Townshend Associates Private Detective Agency better known as? Pass. Imprisoned for 26 years on Robin Island, Robin Island, I'm sorry, he wrote The Long Road to Freedom. Who is he? Uh, pass. What is the capital of Barbados? Pass. Barbados, no. What do you get if you divide 30 by half and add 10? 70. Correct. What is the well-known well Japanese word for empty orchestra? 
स्पेल मैसेच्यूसेट्स एम ए एस एस ए सी एच यू टी टी ई टी एस सॉरी एस एस ई टी एस इट इज एम ए एस एस ए सी एच यू एस ई टी टी एस ओके मूविंग ऑन वेलिंगटन इंटरनेशनल स्कूल दुबई रेडी योर टाइम स्टार्ट नाउ विच इज द ओनली कंट्री नॉट टू हैव वन अ गोल्ड मेडल इन द ओलंपिक्स वाइल होस्टिंग इट In which year do the adventures of Asterix take place? Which year? Pass. For which fictional company does James Bond often claim to work? MI6. Incorrect. It's Universal Exports. Which Italian explorer traveled to China in the 14th century where he became a diplomat for Kublai Khan? Marco Polo. Absolutely right. What is the capital of Botswana? Pass. Which metal is the best conductor of electricity? Pass. How many stars are on the flag of the European Union? How many stars? Pass. Spell conscientious. Uh, C O N S C I E N C E. Conscientious. <laughs> conscientious is C O N S C I E N T I O U S. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the scores. Wellington International School Dubai is at 130 points. Our own Indian School Dubai is at 110 points. And Al Diafa High School Dubai is at 130 points. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in the very first episode of Emax Star Quiz Challenge, we have a tie. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask you three questions. This is going to be a buzzer round. Hands on your buzzer. 30 seconds to answer the question. Whoever hits the buzzer first, a correct answer will get you 20 points, but an incorrect answer will take 10 points away. The first question is, what was the name of the lion in the Chronicles of Narnia? Aslan. Absolutely correct. Yeah. Whoa, well, well done. Yeah. The next question is what is the name of the three-headed dog that guards the entrance to Hades Cerberus I will give that to you it is Cerberus yeah. That yeah. means we already have a winner it is all the Alpha yeah. High School Dubai you join the applause everybody for all the Alpha High School Dubai yeah. These boys have done fantastically well and taken a step towards their ultimate goal which is the Emax Star Quiz Challenge Rolling trophy, but I'm not going to let you go empty-handed. I have two vouchers for you from Emax, and you guys, I will see you next week, same time, same place, same channel. Till then, this is Quiz Master Roy Troy saying, "Cheers, all the best." Congratulations, guys! All the best. Well